but some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So being sent on their way by the church, they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, describing in detail the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brothers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the party of the Pharisees rose up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and to order them to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. And after there had been much debate, Peter stood up and said to them, Brothers, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you, that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness to them by giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did to us. And he made no distinction between us and them, having cleansed their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why are you putting God to the test by placing a yoke on the neck of the disciples that neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? But we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they will. And all the assembly fell silent, and they listened to Barnabas and Paul as they related what signs and wonders God had done through them among the Gentiles. After they finished speaking, James replied, Brothers, listen to me. Simeon has related how God first visited the Gentiles to take from them a people for his name. And with this, the words of the prophets agree, just as it is written. After this, I will return and I will rebuild the tent of David that has fallen. I will rebuild its ruins, and I will restore it, that the remnant of mankind may seek the Lord, and all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord, who makes these things known from of old. Therefore, my judgment is that we should not trouble those of the Gentiles who turn to God but should write to them to abstain from the things polluted by idols and from sexual immorality and from what has been strangled and from blood. For from ancient generations Moses has had in every city those who proclaim him, for he is read every Sabbath in the synagogues. Then it seemed good to the apostles and the elders with the whole church to choose men from among them and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas called Barsabbas and Silas, leading men among the brothers, with the following letter. The brothers, both the apostles and the elders, to the brothers who are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, greetings. Since we have heard that some persons have gone out from us and troubled you with words, unsettling your minds, although we gave them no instructions, it has seemed good to us, having come to one accord, to choose men and send them to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men who have risked their lives for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas, who themselves will tell you the same things by word of mouth. For it has seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay on you no greater burden than these requirements, that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and from what has been strangled and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. So when they were sent off, they went down to Antioch, and having gathered the congregation together, they delivered the letter. And when they had read it, they rejoiced because of its encouragement. And as we've seen, as we've journeyed through this book of Acts, that God so loved the whole world that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, that whoever would believe in him will not die, but will have 
eternal life. This is the story and the message that we heard being shared amongst the known world at that time and will continue to do so as we discover uh, Paul and others uh, moving their way through the Roman Empire. But what we discovered today, what we've discovered in this message, is that there are some who are saying, no, it is not for everybody. And if it is going to be for them, then they need to become more like us. And that's not how God is operating in this. We're still finding that in the church today, that there are so many things that seem foreign to many people that God is calling back to himself. And the church could do well to listen, to observe what was happening in that first century, to look at what's important, what brings people into a relationship with Jesus. And maybe some of those things that are being done need to be set aside to ensure that those that God is reaching out to can be welcomed in to family. The challenge before us, I believe, as followers of Jesus is to just remember that we are simply one beggar showing another beggar where the food is. That we need to relax into what is truly of God. And as we heard many weeks ago, that Gamaliel said that the things that are of man will fail. But the things that are of God, we could do well to pay attention to. And so there's our challenge. The things that are of God are the things to be paid attention to and the things that are of man to be set aside as they are just stumbling blocks and burdens for those who are genuinely looking for salvation and relationship with Jesus. So let us pray. Father God, I thank you that the message is before us here today. I thank you, Lord, that we can look to you for all things. We thank you, Lord, that we were once sinners and by grace we have been saved. Help us to remember that we carry the Spirit of God in us to be shared with others. So may God bless you and keep you and may his favour be on you and your household this day and forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.